As the Wyoming Arts Council celebrates 50 years of arts, we travel across the state exploring how the arts have improved life in the Cowboy State. My first job out of college was at the Saratoga Sun newspaper as a reporter. Most of the subject matter I still write about today draws on those years of doing those interviews. I remember interviewing a survivalist in his basement as well as billionaires that had flown in for different things. I thought if I could write a book where people in Wyoming would read it and say yes it's, it's authentic to the, to the area, to the culture, to the people, that to me was a big victory. Um, the process is probably 95% craft. It's just a matter of sitting down and putting the pages together. The 5% that is totally unteachable, I think, is that creative part where suddenly the book takes off or it takes off in a direction that I never even thought about or anticipated and um, it almost writes itself. I always start with an issue or a controversy first that has to do with the state of Wyoming or the Mountain West. And then I try to research that issue the best I can by talking to people on both sides of a controversial issue. I've got a photo on my, my website that was sent to me by uh, four members of the Wyoming National Guard. They were all behind their machine guns guarding copies of my book. And it meant something to me because it meant to them that they were over there fighting for this, this place that they wanted to return to and why they wanted to return to it. I know that there's people who have actually moved here because they've read the books, I've met them. And I always say, you know, the four blizzards and all the murders just uh, brought you here, huh? And, and, but they talk about the people and the quality of life. And I think those are the kind of uh, new residents we want.